Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are going to take a look at the newest Grand Hero, Burkut Prideful Prince. If you are having trouble being Lunatic or Inferno mode, I have a free to play solution for both of these modes. You can check out the videos on my channel or find the links in the description. Hopefully they can help you out. In this video, I'm going to go over Burkut's default skill set, then in the second half of the video, I'll share some optimal builds. Okay, so at max level, he has 43 HP, 34 attack, a super low 22 speed, 31 defense, and 24 resistance. Alright, so let's focus only on his stats. Defensively, he is below average. 22 speed pretty much means he gets doubled by every single hero in the game, meaning his high defense really isn't as good as it looks. 24 resistance is on the lower side, but it isn't terrible. However, if he gets attacked by any mage, rest in peace. He can live from red mages, but they do take a good chunk of HP off of him. HP is at a good spot. His 34 attack is what makes him kind of valuable. 34 is the highest attack out of all the blue cavalries at the moment. It's one more than Abel and Parry, so an obvious weapon for a offensive build is a Brave Land set. Abel and Perry can get attack IV, so Burku can be better or worse than those two regarding the Brave Land set. I'm pretty sure that's the only other weapon he can use other than his own lance. And his lance is Burkut's lance, 14 might and grants plus 4 resistance when the unit is under attack. It's nothing like Camus's Gradivu, which has distant counter built in, but it's not as bad as a weapon as people make it out to be. It pretty much reads, reduces 4 to 8 damage from mages or dragonstone. FYI, Burku can live from neutral death blow Reinhardt without water boost. With water boost, he can live from plus attack Reinhardt easy peasy. I do think it's a good lance and great for inheriting purposes when paired up with distant counter. Without distant counter, it becomes a lot less valuable. I don't see a point of tanking unnecessary hits when you can just avoid it altogether and take out the enemy on the following player phase, especially for a cavalry hero that is able to move up to three spaces. His special is Blazing Flame, it's garbage, and the only person who is getting blazed or got blazed is you know who. New skill is Water Boost, the requirement of having 3 more HP than Mage isn't that hard to fulfill. Most Mages hover around 40 and below. Combined with his Lance, he's getting an extra 10 resistance. The problem is that this skill is an A slot skill and it's in the same slot as Distant Counter. If you want to make him an anti-mage, you're going to need Distant Counter. Water Boost is fine, but I'm still not a big fan of these boost skills. C slot as Ward Calvary, Burku is now the third hero that carries this skill, first being Elwood and second being Alwyn. You can get some good use out of it for defensive arena horse emblem teams. Overall, Burku is a little disappointing, but what can you do? He is a free unit, so I guess we shouldn't be complaining. The only other Lance Grand hero is Camus, and Burku is obviously a lot worse than him. Not only does Camus have better stats, but he also has the distant counter weapon. The main issue with Burku's stats is his speed. 22 speed puts him in the same speed category as Lucas and Epi. I mean this guy came in one round KO Sophia because he can't naturally outspeed her. Intelligence systems pretty much just spoiled us with Camus. For his first build, we are going to build around his weapon. The only way to do that is to give him distant counter. And in order to double on the counter attack, he's going to need quick repost. The results for this build is 102 wins and 23 losses. Like I mentioned earlier, he can tank neutral death blow Reinhardt, but not a plus attack version. I would recommend going for this build if you plan on using Burkut on a horse emblem team. He does well against red mages and and some blues like Delthea, but he's going to need Fortified Calvary in order to take out Fairy Julia and Bladetome Lindy. It's a great set to use to bait everything besides Axe units, Green Dragonstone, some Green Mages, and a couple of Blue Mages. Here's a Brave Land set. If you don't have a plus attack Abel or Reinhardt, then this set is great to build. You can run a team comp consisting of Xander, Camus, Burkut, and Cecilia. You can use Dragback or Lancebreaker for the B slot. Lancebreaker will help Burkut double Lance enemies. But if you value the positioning mechanic from Dragback, then use that instead. It's really up to you. Some people might ask, hey, why would I sacrifice a Donald who has 35 attack when Burkut only has 34? Well, Burkut is a Cavalier unit, so he's able to get those OP horse buffs. <laughs> if you have Delthea and Donald, then the prince obviously will get outmatched by Potboy. That's it for Burkut. I wouldn't recommend 5 star him unless you really like the guy. He's not terrible when fully S-side, but there are a lot better heroes to use. Let me know what you plan to do with your Burkut in the comments below. I will be training up his 3 and 4 star versions to max level just for grand hero battles. I think he'll be a nice unit to use for those events. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.